It's Friday, September 20th, 2019. We are in the last day of the disseminating moon phase. That's the time of the month we want to communicate and share. The moon is in Gemini. Skill today, represent or express yourself in some way. True alignments, the higher octaves, are taking charge and moving forward, using your willpower to create your world the way you want it, maintaining equilibrium, temperance, having enough resources, following an intuitive sense, and in the light. Cue Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Catalysts for change, the lower octaves are invasion of personal space, doing things the hard way, indecisive. For that, take, take a deep breath, step back, and move past the fear of the unknown. Jealousy, materialistic, pushy, feelings of superiority, not seeing the self clearly. Sabian symbol for the month, seven Virgo, a harem. It's all about valuing yourself this month. And we're having more exposure of the trafficking and pedophile rings. Sabian symbol for the year, fairies dancing in the setting sun. Goodbye, new world order. Sending you on your way. As Mars and Pluto let go of the trine they were in yesterday, that was interesting, yes, Uranus comes in to save the day. Uranus moves back to six Taurus and the energetic of a bridge being built across a gorge. This energetic bridges the gap, overcomes the distance, and builds a way forward. What could be better right now? This bridge will be built in two stages. One stage is between now and October 18th, and the second phase occurs between November 12th and December 12th. After that, we will have two phases of intense structural reinforcement in February and then in April, just in time to begin the next astrological year, the final year of the shift, according to the Mahavidyas. This comes courtesy of Uranus making conjunction with the Chiron point. The Chiron point is the degree of the zodiac where Chiron was located when it was discovered. It encapsulates the energy of mastery as Chiron is the master. Pluto may be the king, but Chiron is the master. Chiron energy masters everything. In the south, we would say this is fixing to get good. We are entering a time when truth and love dominate, shredding all of the archonic control systems that have had a stronghold for so long. The Sabian symbol for the Chiron point is the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. The bridge that is being built is colorful and holds all promise at its conclusion. Chiron is also the planet associated with Christ consciousness, particularly the rebirth aspect. I could wax poetic all day about how unique and wonderful Chiron energy is. Yes, it rules wounding, but the experience leads to mastery, and that's where we are now, in mastery. Chiron also rules gold or money, and while this bridge is being built, I suspect we will see the big change in global financial markets likely timed around the great conjunction of Saturn and Pluto in January. That's the big picture, and it is quite glorious. And here is the little picture for today. Number one, power seizures. Shifts in power dynamics occur today with the sun discharging a bald-headed man who has seized power. We will see how this manifests in the world. For our own part, we take up an element of our personal power without the element of ego. How can you, how can you connect with your personal power. Venus has an idea for us. Number two, the inner home fire. Venus is discharging eight Libra, a blazing fireplace in a deserted home. Returning home, the inner home, is how we blaze our power. This is the place of surety, and we are much stronger than we realize. Amp up your energy by going within and reconnecting with your spiritual source. Make that conscious connection today. It will help build the bridge that is being constructed to get us into the new world of fifth dimensional consciousness. And three, representations and expressions of true self. 
Mars has come to 22 Virgo and the energetic of a royal coat of arms enriched with precious stones. It seems like royalty and monarchy is losing some of its luster, as if their precious stones are falling away. We will see if anything develops on that front with those jokers today. The fellowship of humanity is the true royalty. Insert yourself into the story that is being written right now. Represent or express yourself in some way today. It can be a little way or a big way. No one else even has to know about it. The universe will pick it up regardless. Do something that you love to do. Over the weekend, Mercury will square the nodes, so we, we will be the recipients of important messages and signs to point us toward our future, where the bridge that is being built will take us. So keep your wise owl eyes and ears peeled. A couple of notes before I sign off. A nebulous company, or is it a country, has been selling my Black Moon book on Amazon for $25, no less. This is theft of my intellectual property and yours because the book is something that I gave to the world freely. There is a sole copy in print of that book and I have it. I will rectify this, but please don't buy this book and enrich those thieves. They really have no idea what they have done in the greater scheme. And last but certainly not least, a big, big thank you to those who have donated to keep the Oracle Report up and running. Please chip in as you can, Wise Owls, so we can bridge to the other side together. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Oracle Report out.